In the previous lesson, we were able to style the navigation section. Even though our project is still looking not tidy, but gradually we'll get there. In this lesson, we're going to see how we can style the search section and also the project title section. So let's see how that works. Now, let's do something that we've done before. Let's copy this comment and just have it here and just call it main dashboard. Dashboard. This title is inspired by the class name which we have on the main section. So we're going to be styling the search and also the title section. Let's see how that works. Let's just have search at the top. Then let's target the dashboard. We're going to target the main search, then form. All this combination, let's just look at them. We have the dashboard, which is the outer container. Then we have the main, we have the search, then we have the form. First, we want the we want margin. Let's just declare margin top. Let's call it margin. We want margin top to be like 50 pixel. We want enough space. Okay, this is from, it should be from. You can see we have, now we have space. We want the position to be relative. Next is we need to target the input. So the input is in the form. So we can just go ahead to do that. We want the width to display or mobile to display width of 100%. So it's going to take the full width, which is cool. We want the font size to be 16. Font size. 16 pixel. Then we want padding. We want the padding top to be 10 pixel. Right 10 pixel as well. Bottom 10 pixel. Then we want the right to be 60 pixel. Okay, so we want this space here so that we can bring in the icon just like what we have here. Let's do a few more things. We want to change the border color to more like a lighter gray. So let's have a border. So we're just going to have one pixel solid. Then we want pan DA, DA, DA. No, this should be DA, DA. It should give us like a lighter gray, which is cool. Okay, so we want to remove the white background. Um, we can use background color and use RGBA. GB, RGBA. I can just say zero, zero, zero. Then I can have zero. So they should remove the background color, which is cool. The next thing we want to style is the icon. So still inside the search, let's remove all of this. The icon is a span. Let's look at it. This is it. We can either target this class name or the span, but let's leave it as a span. Then we can just have position of absolute. The reason why we added this relative is we don't want it to display outside of the form. So it is positioning relative to the form container, which is cool. So let's take it to the left. For left, we can say like 15 pixel. Let's see what that gives us. Yeah, right position. Then let's make the top, the top to be like 10 pixel. Right, that works. Then let's change the color. 
color to be our light, a bit lighter gray, which is going to be 72. This is cool. Okay. So now we need to style this very icon. Not so much, but let's just do something about it. First, we need to give it a margin of top. Let's see. You can see that wrapping this very container, we've grouped it in a notification div. So let's just target instead of the form, we can just have notification, notification. I'm going to remove all of this one. We just need margin, margin top of 20 pixel. You can see now that we have margin top. Okay, there shouldn't be such. So let's duplicate this one and just have it search. Let's see, let's make sure that we are targeting the right thing. One search for this time around notification. We want the margin top to be 20 pixel. Yes, so as you can see, the margin is attached to just the notification, which is cool. Well, what we can do again is we want margin right just on the first one so they can push the second one to, to the right a bit. So just on this notification, let's use the end child, end child of number one. So what we're doing with the end child is in this notification, give us the first child. We are just going to say margin right. We can give that like 15 pixel. 15 pixel. Okay, it's not working yet because I think we need to target one more thing. Let's say span. So we are targeting the span inside. Let's check it you can see that now we have the space which is very cool so let's style the my project title so it's gonna be project or we can just as well call it my project we are going to declare a style let's look at the classes that we have so we have title then we have h1 also form and let's see how that works so we're going to call the dashboard in the dashboard we call the main then let's call the title class we just want to give this margin bottom margin bottom of like 30 pixel so we just have little margin on the which is cool let's duplicate this we need to target the H1 As for the H1, we're going to say font size 35 pixel. Then we want the line height to be like zero pixel. Let's duplicate this as well. Then we're going to target the form. Um, then we want the margin top to be like 40 pixel let's have this title here the next is we need to target the label so inside the form we have a label the label is spelled 
L. Cool. Then we want margin right to be 15 pixel. We want to change the color to be the lighter gray, then font size of 16 pixel. Okay, it's making sense a bit. Now let's target the select, which is this one. Instead of the label, let's just target the select. Then what we have on the select is border. We don't want any border. One border of none. Then we want font size of 16 pixel. And we want background color of RGB. There's a light background. Yes. Okay, so let's go to our app to check what we have so far. As you can see, we have the navigation section, the search feature, then we have the title, and also the category looking very nice. And that's how we wrap it up on this one. In the next lesson, we're gonna see how to style this listing so that it looks exactly like this. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media and do so that you'll be notified each time we release a new tip. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.